This right here is my new Ryzen 9 5900X. Here's how I got it and here's how you can get one too. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Justin for Random Tech Videos and before I get into this video, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like this video so others can find it. With that out of the way, I know you don't want to keep waiting so let's just get into the video. So I was able to buy this because of this right here. You see this stream? This stream is by the YouTube channel Fix It, Fix It, Fix It. I'll put a link to the channel in the description. I cannot put a link to the stream because the stream changes occasionally. But due to this stream, it will give me an audio alert and I can see clearly when the 5900 or 5950X, and for that matter, all the modern GPUs to come into stock. So I was able to last Thursday pick this up on amd.com and it appears that amd.com has been doing drops regularly every Thursday and it wasn't actually that hard to order this. I mean it was there for more than a minute or two. <laughs> Since when did being there for more than a minute or two mean that it's easy to order? Okay it wasn't that easy. Here's what happened. We saw it listed as being available for ordering. So we kept clicking add to cart. It would show a loading circle. I'm sorry I don't have footage of this because I was just in a rush to get this order. Didn't have time to screen record. But whenever I click add to cart, it would keep showing a loading circle. But then eventually it would add it to cart. I just kept spamming the add to cart until it finally added to cart. When it added to cart, click proceed to checkout. And because of everyone trying to get it at the same time, it may give an error and it gave me an error saying, error 404 not found or something. But the URL at the top was the same URL as it should have been if it was the actual one to purchase this product. And so we were able to literally just refresh whatever page we were on at that stage of checkout and finally get through. Like we got to the next step in the checkout and it gave us the same error. So we just kept refreshing that page until the page finally came up. And then we just kept doing that as we went along because the AMD website is not all on one web page. Each new part is one separate web page. And so we were able to just keep refreshing until we got through the whole checkout process. I'm honestly surprised that it worked, but it worked. But again, AMD every Thursday for where I live is right before the afternoon generally that they do this. But it supposedly and consistently has appeared to be every Thursday. So if you have this stream up, it's not going to be too hard if you know what you're doing to get a 5900 or 5950X directly from AMD.com. Okay, if anyone has any idea as to how I can get my hands on a 3080, a 3080, a 3080, I really want a 3080. Editor, put a 3080 in my hands right here. I really, really want a 3080. Okay, but that's besides the point. I got a 5900X, at least that's a starting point on the power supply back there, but that's not too hard to get. 850 watt Seasonic Focus Plus Gold power supply. But before we end this video, I think I need to unbox this 5900X on camera because this is such a special moment. Here we go. And here it is, the CPU, wow. I know I'm acting like a kid, but I don't care. Here it is, here it is, here it is. This is a 5900X, yay. I know I'm acting really cringy, I'm sorry, but I have to do it, just let me do it this once. 5900X, I have one. Sorry, I know that was a little cringy and unprofessional to say the least, but I got a little excited that I finally have a 5900X. And what's better, I have the sticker, so when I build a PC, hopefully I can put this on my case. But anyway, thanks for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, not enjoyed. I hope this video was helpful so that you can find one. Remember, the YouTube channel is Fix It, Fix It, Fix It. Link in description to the channel. And they should have a 24-7 live stream of what processors and graphics cards are available at the time. And remember, Thursdays is when AMD.com does a drop and you should be able to get a CPU if you do what I said. Hopefully all of this stuff ends soon so that things can go back to normal. I really hope everything will go back to normal soon, not just concerning being able to purchase CPUs and GPUs. But anyway, I know I'm dragging this video on, but I just wanted to get this over with, so thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you and goodbye.